Manchester United secured their eighth Premiership title last May after finishing five points clear of Arsenal. They trailed the Gunners by five points at the end of February and made up ground quite magnificently. Only Arsenal in 1998 and 2002 and Blackburn in 1995 have spoilt Manchester United's dominance of the Premier League. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please United won nine United and drew one and Arsenal of their last ten Premier League games from the start of March to cleanse the league once more. And here come the two heavyweights of English football ready to slug it out over the next nine months when they're handing out the prizes in May. Manchester United and Arsenal will be at the front of the queue. Welcome back. The football season begins here in England. And the summer months of cutting the grass and washing the car are all over. The fun and games are about to begin. Our chief guest today is a familiar figure to Arsenal fans and Manchester United fans, Viv Anderson. First black player to represent England when he made his debut at Wembley in 1978 against Czechoslovakia. So let's check on the two lineups starting with Arsenal. Arsenal's starting 11 includes just one new face, goalkeeper Jens Lehmann, who takes over the Arsenal number one jersey from David Seaman, who has left to join Manchester City. There's no Martin Keown, who has a groin injury, and Arsenal give a central defensive role to Colo Touré. There's no place for the man who scored Arsenal's FA Cup winning goal against Southampton last May, Robert Pires. Henri and Burkamp are Arsenal's front two. Number 19, Gilberto, scored the winning goal in this fixture last season. Manchester United, like Arsenal, have a new keeper. Tim Howard has arrived from New York, New Jersey Metro Stars. And such has been his impressive pre-season form that he now finds himself pitched into this big game a week before the new season. John O'Shea is omitted from the 11, which means Mikel Silvestre plays in central defence. He prefers to play there rather than left-back. The left-back role goes to South African Quinton Fortune, and I know many of our friends watching these pictures on Mnet in South Africa will be pleased to see his introduction. On behalf of McDonald's, I'd like to wish both teams good, good luck this afternoon. For the past 12 months, McDonald's have been associated with this, the, the FA Community FA Shield. Community it celebrates the role played in the community the by the Football Association, training young coaches to help young players to progress in their footballing careers. The partnership with the FA. Welcome all those coaches today. Many coaches here today to enjoy this big match. And they couldn't have two better stalwarts of coaching in the world game than Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger. Ladies and gentlemen, please be outstanding for the national anthem. So let's break now for the national anthem.
terrific reception for the two teams Sol Campbell who missed the FA Cup final after he was sent off against Manchester United in the league meeting of the two clubs at Highbury after he appeared to elbow Ole Gunnar Solskjaer I wonder if he'll shake hands there he is, Ole Gunnar <laughs> a little glance there by Solskjaer at Campbell no ill feeling between Solskjaer and the Arsenal central defender it was a big talking point at the end of last season that incident new goalkeeper then for Arsenal, Jens Lehmann who's joined from Borussia Dortmund there have been real question marks placed against the Arsenal defence Manchester United without David Beckham, without Juan Sebastian Veron. Veron has gone to Chelsea, Beckham to Real Madrid and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to play in that wide right position usually occupied by Beckham, there's Arsene Wenger who was saying uh, a little earlier on that the temperature for all the players could be a real factor in the game, 100 degrees the conditions are bound to be a major factor of this football match last time I saw Tim Howard play he was playing for the USA hoping to get a work permit to come to England and join Manchester United and he's managed to do that, just that and have a terrific pre-season when Manchester United actually went to the States and I know many of our friends watching these pictures on the other side of the Atlantic will be delighted to see Tim Howard already a first team regular at Old Chaffer but he'll have to push Fabian Bartes out the way Steve Bennett is our match official very sad day in English football yesterday sadly Jimmy Davis a youngster at Manchester United who'd gone on loan to Watford was killed in a car accident on the M40 in Oxfordshire and uh, therefore there'll be a minute silence before the kickoff and also Ray Harper the former Blackburn uh, assistant manager died from cancer yesterday our best wishes go to the families of those two people who died yesterday Silence impeccably observed by both Arsenal and Manchester United fans. The summer is officially over. Despite the hot conditions, football is back in England and it returns traditionally with the FA Community Shield. The two biggest names in English football will slug it out and how fitting that they contest the first showpiece of the new season and it'll be Arsenal in their new yellow kit to get this football match underway. Arsenal who won the FA Cup for a ninth time in May when they beat Southampton. Of course, only Manchester United have won the FA Cup more. Philip Neville now for Manchester United. Solskjaer occupying that role wide right, which used to be the sole preserve of a certain David Beckham. Ah, the first tasty tackle of the new season. <laughs> and the first yellow card inside the first 30 seconds for Phil Neville. The meeting of Manchester United and Arsenal is always bruising, often controversial. And already Philip Neville has left his calling card. 
I'm sure that will be duly noted by a certain Patrick Vieira. Colo Toure. Sol Campbell. Vieira. Freddy Lundberg. Losing the ball to Nicky Butt. These uh, games very often are full of uh, late tackles and two really early yellow cards. Another fullback book, this time Ashley Cole. Technically, is still a pre season friendly, but nothing friendly about this fixture, and certainly nothing friendly when Arsenal and Manchester United meet. Phil Neville slams a ball into Freddie Ljungberg. Throw into Manchester United. Campbell couldn't get there, but Colo Toure could. Sylvester, who likes to play in that central defensive role. Roy Keane. Vieira. Marin. Gilberto, who scored here last season. Good early ball in, but a good catch by Tim Howard. That leaves a few nerves, no doubt, in the mind of the Manchester United new number one. Nicky Butt. It's Manchester United fans you can hear at the moment. Just looking around the stadium, there's more Manchester United fans here than Arsenal supporters. The right-hand end of the ground virtually full, the left-hand end is certainly sparsely populated. There's Alex Ferguson. Won five charity shields. It's the first time his team has appeared in the newly christened Community Shield. Tim Howard, Rio Ferdinand, who won his first title with Manchester United last season, his first major honour in the game. He actually says he can improve on what he achieved last season. Sylvester. Up towards Solskjaer, Gilberto, the Brazilian World Cup winner who joined a year ago and scored in this fixture against Liverpool. Bergkamp. Phil Neville. Scholes. Youngberg took a hefty whack, the tackles are raining in early on. Solskjaer was a little bit late on the far side on Youngberg. This is Quinton Fortune, the South African international. Lauren. Birke. Ray Parler invited to flick the ball on. There was a foul there by Lauren. Free kick to Manchester United. Roy Keane. Roy Keane, the captain of Manchester United. <laughs> Ashley Cole. Saul Campbell. It was heartbroken to miss the FA Cup final last season after his sending off against Manchester United. Fortune, almost losing the ball to Vieira, but doing well to pick out Silvestre. That's good football by Manchester United. They're in a little bit of a pickle down by their own corner flag. Keane, Silvestre. Giggs. Skulls 
the Manchester United already assuming this swagger they have when they pass the ball so well. It's worth pointing out that the, when they went to Highbury at the end of last season for a crucial league game, they played there without David Beckham, who was left out of the starting eleven, And as I recall, also left out Juan Sebastian Veron, so although their absences have made plenty of column inches in the English press, it's not as though Manchester United have never played without Beckham and Veron. Nicky Butt, Gilberto quickly across to edge him off the ball. Parla. Great Parla for Arsenal. Most of Manchester United's pre-season efforts have been uh, centred in the USA when they played the likes of Juventus, Celtic and Barcelona. Thierry Henry here for Arsenal. Lauren. It's a decent cross. Solskjaer. Freddie Lundberg who made his Arsenal debut against Manchester United at Highbury in September 1998. Scored in two successive FA Cup finals, Freddie Lundberg. Van Nistelrooy. Giggs, who's popped up on the right-hand side now. Usually plays on the left, of course, this is Scholes. And Thierry Henry has got away from Rio Ferdinand, but there's nobody inside the penalty area. Rio Ferdinand keeping a close eye on one of the outstanding players in the modern game. Corner kick to Arsenal. Campbell moves forward, so too does Vieira. So too does Torre, and Parla's inside the penalty area as well. And a confident catch by Tim Howard. Manchester United did have reservations about his size. He isn't the biggest goalkeeper, and certainly not as tall as David Seaman, in terms of uh, Seaman being one of the best in the game. And there's Seaman's understudy. Well, now his replacement, Jens Lehm. Certainly Howard doesn't compare with, say, the former Manchester United great Peter Schmeichel. Oh, well. Solskjaer did well. Final ball by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, disappointing. Ryan Giggs, who's born in Cardiff. Returning to his native city, he's won the Premier League eight times and has four charity shield medals. You may recall he scored an outstanding FA Cup semi-final goal against Arsenal in 1999 when he ran through the entire team <laughs> Jens Lehmann Colo Toure who normally is a midfield player from the Ivory Coast but if Arsenal have converted him into a central defender Van Nistelrooy, foul by Rude Van Nistelrooy, who scored here on his senior debut for United in the charity shield against Liverpool. Nieselroy Skulls Hasn't really been a chance of any note so far
Vienna. Jungberg, who has a habit of scoring at this stadium. Patrick Vieira for Arsenal. Gilberto. Henri. I don't think Tim Howe would have been very happy if that shot from about 25 or 30 yards had flown past him. Just sliced off the top of Thierry Henry's boot. And then he provided work for the ball boys. Team. Skulls. Good tackle by Parla. Thierry Henry. Oh, he almost put Lundberg in there with that delicious little back flick. Philip Neville to the rescue. Henri looks so dangerous. Roy Keane slightly late on Parler, but no ill feeling between the two players. Not often you see Roy Keane smile, is it? Ten here is Dennis Bergkamp. Howard is just about ready. Bergkamp floats it in, away by Roy Keane. Cole, it's Ashley Cole for Arsenal. Sol Campbell, back to Cole again. Never had complete control of the football. Pace of the game is relatively slow, that's... Hardly a surprise with the temperatures reaching 100 degrees. The football unlikely to reach speeds of 100 miles an hour. Colo Toure. Oh, that's a lovely dummy by Toure. United appealing for offside against Thierry Henry, and indeed there is a flag. You've just joined us, this is the FA Community Shield from the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. Arsenal in the yellow against Manchester United. And Manchester United in possession here. With Sylvester trying to pick out Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, it's a good ball as well. Good tackle by Ashley Cole. Great ball by Sylvester, full marks to him. Possibly 60 yards to pick out his teammate here. Rio Ferdinand prominently forward here for Manchester United. It's Ryan Giggs with a corner. Flicked on by Cole, uh, Keane. And Manchester United have the lead. Roy Keane flicked the ball on and Sylvester was there. Simple header down for Sylvester who wasn't marked. But Roy Keane was the architect of that goal. Goal for Manchester United, number 27, Mikael Silvestre. A free header for Mikael Silvestre. <laughs> Arsenal nil, Manchester United won. Mikel Silvestre only scored one goal last season. And now he's scored the opening goal in this FA Community Shield. Henri. Bergkamp will try and get this one. Ball gone out.
Arsene Wenger looks rather perturbed. The defending at the back there for Arsenal was quite simply poor when Sylvester scored. Sylvester's only goal last season came in a league game against Leeds United, which Manchester United won by two goals to one back in March. Cruelly exposed there by his defence, but that ball was flicked on by Keane. Manchester United do, in these opening stages, look that little bit sharper. Ray, no doubt, will have to learn some hard lessons if he's going to be a regular with central defence. And of course, a Arsenal defence without Martin Keown today. <laughs> 1 0 to the champions is a cry from the Manchester United fans. Gilberto, Ray Parler. Henri wanted the free kick, but sweeps it wide to Solskjaer. Vieira. Great interception by Colo Toure. Vieira. And Nicky Butt has been penalised. Look like uh, not, not that illegal a challenge by Nicky Butt. Quite surprised the referee pulled him up over it. The referee Steve Bennett, a bit closer than I am. Free kick to Arsenal, who are a goal behind after 19 minutes. And they're level. What a fantastic free kick from Thierry Henry. Tim Howard beaten from distance. Goal scored for Arsenal, number 14, Thierry Henry. What a great free kick. I just wonder how much Tim Howard will feel responsible that he didn't get closer to this one. Went over the Manchester United wall and although Howard got his hand to the ball, could do little about it stealing inside the upright and it's Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. This match fizzing into life. Thierry Henry, who totaled 32 goals in all competitions last season. Gilberto. Nicky Butt for Manchester United. Fortune. Giggs swept on towards Scholes, and this is Vieira. Lauren. 
Palmer. I wonder if uh, David Beckham is watching these pictures whilst he's away with his Real Madrid teammates on his tour of the Far East. Solskjaer couldn't win it, Rio Ferdinand, sweetly done. Van Nistelrooy. Phil Neville, up towards Giggs, headed clear by Toure. It's worth bearing in mind that Manchester United have lost their last four appearances in what used to be the FA Charity Shield. So Alex Ferguson describes this fixture as little more than a pre-season friendly, but as we've already mentioned, it's hardly friendly out there. It's very competitive, and it's level at one apiece as we hit the midway point of the first half. Van Nieselroy, ball struck the referee and sits up nicely for Freddie Ljungberg. Just couldn't quite link up with Thierry Henry. Solskjaer. And Ashley Cole, who's already been shown one yellow card, will face a bit of a lecture here from Steve Bennett. I think he's on his final warning. That's why, that should be a second yellow, and really Ashley Cole should be off. Keane, looking for Ruud van Nistelrooy. Saul Campbell trying to direct operations at the back. Camp. Vieira. Henri with the dummy, but Fortune getting it back to Tim Howard. Dennis Burkamp, who said he wants to end his career at Arsenal. Guys of Thierry Henri now ring round the stadium from the Arsenal fans. Keen. And he's got the ball wide here to Phil Neville. This is Rio Ferdinand. Skulls chased by Lauren. Tackled by Gilberto and Freddie Lundberg then dodged off the ball by Scholes. No foul. Ryan Giggs. Help through to Solskjaer and a good tackle there by Colo Toure. Rather strangely, Ryan Giggs appears to be playing on the right hand side. Header back by Solskjaer to Giggs. Wasn't accurate. Picked up by Vieira. And this is Bergkamp. Great vision. Toure, or rather uh, Lauren. Thierry Henry scored that splendid free kick. Manchester United must have thought there was little danger and Henry had a shot from a good 30 yards after 19 minutes, but the goal brings the two sides level. Both these sides have won the shield ten times little to choose between them at this stage of the first half. Burkamp, Burkamp almost through, and he's claiming there's a handball there. 
just the first signs of Arsenal beginning to get through the Manchester United defence and unsettling the champions back four. But Giggs, who's popping up on the left now, Ryan Giggs tries to flick the ball on towards Van Nistelrooy, it's come through to Phil Neville. Scholes helped it through, but Lehman read it perfectly. Lauren. Skulls and it's Fortune venturing forward here for Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy waiting, it's Giggs. And his shot is blocked. And Vienna now. Good interception by Rio Ferdinand. Again, getting very stretched out now on the conditions. Now playing their toll on the players. slowly from the back Tala Lauren this is Tim Howard Clear by Campbell. Gilberto picks out Lauren. From a Cameroon international is now announced his retirement from the national side. What a tragic uh, summer it's been for Cameroon football with the death of Mark Vivian Feller. Vienna. Thierry on real side. Ferdinand Roy Keane who celebrates his birthday today Roy Keane 32 and chasing Parler here he was aware of Keane's presence and therefore he took his eye off the ball and Nicky Butt came and snatched it back for Manchester United Fortune. But Ferdinand. Arsene Wenger. A little bit happy with his side level now, but they're just sitting back as Manchester United attack here. Skulls helping it forward. Nice little breeze now around the stadium. That really is welcome. Scored in the last pre-season game against uh, Rangers. 
up in Scotland. Sylvester with a clearance, only as far as the Brazilian Gilberto. Paul Scholes, England international. As soon as the curtain opened on the English domestic season, and all of these players are heading off for international commitments. England do have a friendly against Croatia on the 20th of August at uh, Ipswich's Portman Road ground. There's some important European Championship qualifiers played that week. I know many of the uh, domestic coaches are happy that just at a time when they got their players back from their summer breaks, they were disappearing off again to meet up with the national teams. Mistake by Cole, Solskjaer. This is Ruud van Nistelrooy. Eighty goals in 101 games for Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy is Phil Neville. Giggs! And Van Nistelrooy still can't tuck it in. He was pretty close to another goal there, wasn't he? So too was Ryan Giggs, who scored with a header against Arsenal at Highbury in April. And almost did the same here, almost uh, an identical one. They hit the frame of the goal twice in the space of ten seconds. Lehman was beaten. Maybe Ruud van Nistelrooy thinks that if Thierry Henry is already off the mark, it's about time he put his stamp on this game. Parler in towards Bergkamp. Might be a slight problem here for Nicky Butt, who's holding his right boot. Here's this goal again, look at the distance. Now you'd expect your keeper to be able to deal with that, but there was a huge gap there between Solskjaer and Skulls, and Henri belted the ball. And Tim Howard will not be pleased. Not sure what his manager will think. Just out of your picture, the players taking on Walter, there they are. Not quite the formality of a drinks break in a cricket game, but the water will be welcome nonetheless. unofficial stoppage and it is unofficial I should stress is over Nicky Butt is back on the field Campbell intercepted that ball but was unable to keep it in play Lauren. The camp picks out Parler. Very little to choose between the two sides. Perhaps Manchester United look a bit more menacing in front of goal. Tim Howard's goal has only really been threatened once, and that's when he let in that long range free kick. I think it's fair to say that both Arsenal and Manchester United are taking something of a gamble in the goalkeeping department and although Messrs Lehman and Howard find themselves in goal this afternoon it's not certain that will be the way for the next nine months
Phil Neville. just seems to have dropped slightly in terms of tempo but both these sides are capable of switching into top gear skulls fortune oh he's done well ball never went out of play Fortune out of position now. There was a push there by Sylvester. I don't think the referee actually spotted that. Henri certainly felt it. That's a great ball into Solskjaer. Solskjaer drags it back and Van Nistelrooy was barged off the ball. Manchester United met Arsenal three times last season and only won once. That was at Old Trafford in the league when they won 2 0 in December. And although Arsenal did claim the FA Cup, Manchester United always insisted their ambitions were to claim back the Premier League. Roy Keane. Sylvester. Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand, who a year ago had only just made his switch from Leeds United. And that huge deal. The way the transfer market has collapsed in the last month suggests that Manchester United, had they waited a we while might have got the uh, sale of Ferdinand through cheaply, but maybe had they waited till this summer, Chelsea would have come in with a big offer. Chelsea have arrived on the stage of the top clubs in England. Both Manchester United and Arsenal can see they have a very good squad, but they haven't got an outstanding team just yet. And they may take some months to gel. Colt. Lundberg. Gilberto. Keep up for Manchester United. Solskjaer. Phil Neville. Headed on by Giggs. It's a good header to Solskjaer. And blocked by Sol Campbell. That tactic to play Solskjaer wide right. And Van Nistelrooy through the middle. Looks very, very promising indeed. Rio Ferdinand forward, but Arsenal have been warned about the threat of Mikel Silvestre. And he's posted on the edge of the penalty area this time. It's Silvestre again! And this time he heads wide. Took 
a very good uh, starting position there, Mikel Silvestre. Had a bit of ground to make up. Look at his run from the edge of the box. Didn't get a clean header in on the ball that time. Arsenal had blocked his path. Camp. Gilberto, easy for Tim Howard. It's been a really mixed first half at times. We've seen some really neat uh, passing by Arsenal and also by Manchester United, who have carried threat through Giggs and Solskjaer and Van Nistelrooy here. And Van Nistelrooy's ball to Giggs finds Giggs offside. Look at that chip. Oh. <laughs> he enjoyed that, didn't he? Even the referee's assistant enjoyed that. Oh dear, that was a questionable decision, to say the least. Giggs looked onside. <laughs> Ashley Cole, who was a Community Shield winner a year ago with Arsenal. This is Burkamp, had the ball torn from him by Scholes. Keane. Ferdinand. 27 here, Sylvester. Fortune. Ljungberg did well to dispossess Solskjaer, this is Henri, who was flattened on the edge of the penalty area, rather painfully getting to his feet at the moment. You know who was after him. Roy Keane. Ferdinand. Fortune. Skulls. Skulls picking out Solskjaer, it's a great ball, Solskjaer, good save by Jens Lehmann. And no corner kick awarded. Well, first of all, let's admire the ball here from Skulls, it was right out of the top draw. Let's see if there was a touch by the goalkeeper. Hard to tell from that angle. stoppage time to be added on and we're playing that already as Lundberg has off towards goal it's Freddie Lundberg has taken the deflection and gone over the top corner to Arsenal they better hurry up and take it otherwise the half-time whistle will sound I think uh, United had the original shot covered but then it took a deflection and Tim Howard found himself scrambling back to get underneath his crossbar and the ball was sailing over the top. Corner kick here then to Arsenal. Howard has got a very good uh, catch on the ball. And the referee sends the two teams to the dressing room. Uh, little to choose between the two giants of English football. Mikel Silvestre has given Manchester United the lead, but that lead did not last long, just four minutes in total before Thierry Henry, with an outrageous free kick from about 30 yards, got the better of Manchester United's new goalkeeper, Tim Howard. And the half-time score in the FA Community Shield from Cardiff's Millennium Stadium.
is Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. A good, uh, good tour of the US. It was just quickly. It was surprising. I thought still O'Shea was left on the yeah, bench. Well, Maybe he's experimenting still. Well, John O'Shea was one of the revelations of last season, wasn't mm. he? Uh, he looks a, certainly a future star for Man United. But Fortune's been rewarded with some, you know, some good performances in the preseason. As has your mate Tim Howard. Indeed so. All right, on the spot, quickly, who's going to win it? Well, you, we already said this. We've both, both gone for you Arsenal. You haven't changed. All right, we're sticking with Arsenal. We're sticking with Arsenal with Pires to come on and score the winner. All right, there you have it from Robbie Slater. And uh, there is a substitution, of course. Henri Okay, Viltor. Viltor to score the Viltor winner. to come on. Okay, <laughs> he's on the park. Let's get back now to Cardiff. Our match caller is Gary Bloom. And the other change sees Robert Pires come on for Ray Parler. Robert Perez, who scored Arsenal's FA Cup winning goal here against Southampton in May. A rather long, co convoluted, drawn out process to officially allow the players to come onto the field. Viltor scored some important goals against Manchester United in recent years, including. A title winning goal at Old Trafford and an FA Cup fifth round goal last season. Pires, of course, had a very successful summer playing for France in the Confederations Cup. Scoring in the semi final against Turkey. So it's Manchester United who restart the game. Manchester United who scored first, but were then pegged back by an outrageous free kick from Thierry Henry, who's since departed at half-time. No changes for Manchester United. The last meeting of these sides ended 2-2 at Highbury in April. No surprise, therefore, to find them level again here at the break. But incidentally, if they're level after 90 minutes, we'll go straight to a penalty shootout. The shield will not be shared, as in previous years. Keane. Ran into the challenge of Vieira. Scholes takes over here for Manchester United. It's Giggs. Van Nistelrooy claims he was fouled. And the referee says no foul. Ashley Cole certainly made contact there with Ruud van Nistelrooy. That was a let off for the Arsenal. And Cole has already been booked, so a let off for him. Here's Lundberg at the other end for the Arsenal. Bergkamp in support. It's Dennis Bergkamp. Lundberg and Lauren. Lundberg. Viltord. And Viltord's cross takes a deflection. It's gone out for the corner, but the controversy rages on here in Cardiff as to whether Manchester United should have had a penalty kick. Steve Bennett was insistent there was no push on Ruud van Nistelrooy as Pires takes his corner and Vieira has his boot to the ball but it's gone harmlessly wide. Has in fact taken a deflection for another corner kick. More pressure on that Manchester United goal, Pires with a corner, Gilberto he was doing some pushing free kick to the league champions. Van Nieselrooy appeared to be impeded here. Slow motion replay is inconclusive. There was no doubt in Ruud van Nieselrooy's mind that Ashley Cole had fouled him. Cole got his head to the ball. This is Pires. What Arsenal have done is they've switched Freddie Lundberg to right midfield with Pires in possession here playing left midfield. And it's Pires who helps it back to Jens Lehmann. Colo Toure here and he came on for the last five minutes of the Community Shield game last year. Now finds himself, if you believe what you read at least, challenging for a first choice position 
in the Arsenal defence. Cole and Pires. And Viltor. Vieira. Bergkamp. Freddy Lundberg. Skulls. His vision is outstanding. Ball by Giggs was disappointing. Demanded an awful lot there of Quinton Fortune, who's done supremely well to keep the ball in touch. And find Skull, Skulls, and that was an outrageous dummy by Skulls. There's talent oozing from so many players on the pitch. And Nicky Butt now has been penalised as Pires jumped up in the air as Butt made contact with him. Free kick to the FA Cup holders. A suggestion, perhaps, that Pires is feigning injury here. The Manchester United supporters are accusing Arsenal of cheating. Ashley Cole. Ball ricocheted against Philip Neville. Skulls, whose influence on this game is growing. Great ball out to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Giggs arriving inside the box, as is Ruud van Nistelrooy. pace of the Manchester United attack has just been disrupted and this is Skulls Keane Vieira chased by Keane two absolute giants in the modern game fantastic tackle by Keane terrific roar from the Manchester United fans as he executed that tackle to perfection Van Nistelrooy And the ball is ricocheted here to Gilberto. It's turning into a very good game now. Freddy Lundberg. Vieira. Lundberg. Lonnen. Bergkamp. Vieira. Viltord. Good possession here by Arsenal. Viltord. Terrific ball by Skulls. Put the ball through the legs of Gilberto. And then Sol Campbell. And Vieira came to grips with the Manchester United team and Vieira has been yellow carded again it looks an innocuous challenge looking at that one again Patrick Vieira I understand will sign a new contract tomorrow to pledge his long term future to the Arsenal club Skulls, great touch there, it almost came through to Van Nistelrooy. Sol Campbell read that one perfectly. Pires. Wherever you are around the globe watching these pictures, I hope you're enjoying our coverage of the FA Community Shield. Not too much community spirit between Arsenal and Manchester United. The temperature sizzling around about the 100 mark and the temperature of the two sets of players simmering too. Oh dear. Yellow card then for Paul Scholes. Maybe the surprise is that Roy Keane hasn't been booked yet. Great tackle, though, by Roy Keane here. People talk about his aggressive nature, but he's a supremely fit footballer and a supremely gifted footballer, and you won't find a more committed footballer 
in the English game. This is Pires. Pires trying to pick out Viltor, who just mistimed his run fractionally, but enough to incur a flag of the referee's assistant on the far side. A bit tough on the uh, referee's assistant on that far side. He's been in the bright sunlight all game. There was a hint that he might be a change of assistant referees. Here's Giggs. Away by Cole. Pires. And Robert Pires now for Arsenal. Pires, who scored the FA Cup final winner, will not score like that. Rushed his shot, needed to run the ball closer to the goalkeeper, I feel. Had the whole of the Manchester United half to himself. He needed to be a lot closer to goal before he pulled the trigger. No foul. Saul Campbell won the ball fairly and squarely. Vieira helped it through towards Lundberg. It's Freddie Lundberg for Arsenal. And Tim Howard, who has terrific reaction time and speed in his goalkeeping, denied Lundberg there. Arsenal won, Manchester United won. We played just less than an hour of the game. Pires. Pires with Burkamp to his right. He's picked out Lundberg. It's now Burkamp, it's Lauren. Pires, Gilberto, Lauren, Pires, I wonder whether Manchester United will make any changes at the hour mark, Pires helping it through but Tim Howard outside his six-yard box very quickly. But that's a great ball to Solskjaer. Rude van Nistelrooy. Solskjaer, great tackle by Sol Campbell. Vieira. The camp and uh, Gilberto's got on a run here. Cut out by Rio Ferdinand. Bill Neville. Nicky Butt for Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy gave the ball away cheaply, and this is Burkamp. Forward towards Lundberg. The longer the game goes on, the more attacking options we seem to have. Skulls, it's Ruud van Nistelrooy who leaves it, it's Ryan Giggs now. Giggs, and he tried to catch Lehman uh, away from his near post. Good dummy involving Giggs and van Nistelrooy there. Arsenal having already made two changes at half-time, uh, about to make a couple more, I think. More on that in a moment. Bergkamp. Three here is Cole.
Perez. The Camps made a run here, but the ball isn't accurate enough. Both teams, just for the moment at least, squeezing the accelerator, looking for that goal which could kill off this FA Community Shield. Giggs. Phil Neville. His brother Gary currently injured. Viltor. Lundberg, there's a big hole opening up in the middle of the Manchester United defence. And Quinton Fortune has found himself penalised here. The Arsenal fans want him sent off because Lundberg saw a gap. Manchester United crowd round the referee. They wonder what colour this card is going to be from referee Steve Bennett. It's just a yellow, hence the boos from the Arsenal supporters. The double replacement for Arsenal coming off the field, number 10, Dennis Murphy, and number 19, Gilberto. Being replaced by number 9, Freddie Jeffers, and number 17, Edu. So the latest substitutions happening here, Burkamp is coming off. And Edu replaces him. And Gilberto also and coming off, and Franny Jeffers is on here for Arsenal. Nicky Butch is coming off. And our first view of the Cameroon international, Eric Jemba. Sometimes called Jemba Jemba outside his native country, but we'll just call him Eric Jemba. Oh, he's got Jemba Jemba on his shirt. <laughs> At the first change Alex Ferguson has made. Perez with a throw. Cole. Edu. Edu scored at Old Trafford last season, so he has fond memories of playing against Manchester United. Just confirming the substitution was Nicky Butt going off and Eric Chamber coming on for Manchester United. Lundberg, Vieira, Viltor, Edu, ball to Jeffers, not strong enough. Ryan Giggs giving chase, Lehman. Seems to be knowing what he's doing. Has to hammer the ball into touch in the end. <laughs> Almost called out as Ryan Giggs tried his luck. And that's a great tackle by Toure. And a Manchester United player has gone down injured after that last incident. And it's... Fortune, who appears to be holding his groin after that tackle by Toure. There was a very high challenge by Toure.
Manchester United will have a free kick. Solskjaer to take it. Solskjaer drives it in. Keane! Oh, he got a flick on for Manchester United's goal and Mikel Silvestre turned the ball over the line. He got a good flick on there. More changes for Arsenal. So Ljungberg, the latest player to depart the action. And replaced by Giovanni van Bronckhorst. Van Bronckhorst, who had almost nine months out with a cruciate knee ligament damage. His only goal last season came against Chelsea. Giggs. Great run here by Ryan Giggs, good tackle by Lauren. Here's Vieira. Arsenal begin the new campaign in terms of league fixtures with a home game against Everton next week. Manchester United at home to Bolt. Both on Saturday. This is Edu. Vieira. Viltord. Cole. Viltor, Vieira, fouled by Jemba. Eric Jemba signed from the French side Mont. Bringing down the French international Patrick Vieira. Well, there's a whole host of players who'd like to take this free kick, including Viltor and Pires will be the Prime candidates here, also Ashley Cole. Remember, Tim Howard has already been beaten by a long-range free kick. He won't want to be beaten by another. Pires. Jeffers. Has Edu available. Trying to pick out Pires. We've reached the three-quarter point of the game, still level at one apiece. Roy Keane. Manchester United last met Arsenal in the old charity shield back in 1999 and lost by two goals to one. Certain David Beckham scored for Manchester United that day. I wonder what ever happened to him. Remember, Manchester United have lost their last four appearances in this showpiece. They won't want to make it five. And they're on the attack here with Ruud van Nistelrooy. Scholes tried to win it, intercepted by Campbell. Patrick Vieira to Franny Jeffers. Viltord, Pires. Arsenal looking ominous now. Pires. Jemba, gets Lehman to the rescue, hooking the ball back into United's half. Good clearance by Lehman. 
replacement for Manchester United coming off the field, number 25, Quinton Fortune. So Quinton Fortune is substituted, he's had a pretty good game actually at left back and he's replaced by John O'Shea, who can play left back, can also play central defence, it's going to be interesting to see that uh, O'Shea slots in at left back. Perez just took his eye off the ball and O'Shea has won it. Sets up Scholes, who then locks horns with Edu. About 20 minutes left. We're going to have to have a winning goal in the next 20 minutes, otherwise we'll have penalty kicks. Jeffers. Ashley Cole. Vieira. Viltor. Good block by Scholes. This is O'Shea. Perez. Viltor. Ball. Almost like a pinball there before it lands at the feet of Jemba. And here's Solskjaer and Philip Neville gets it forward. And Ryan Giggs is away from Campbell. They've just got the merest of touches to help it back to Lehman who just hesitated slightly and Ruud van Nistelrooy was all, almost in. I still feel there's a winning goal in the script of this drama. Roy Keane. Gets it wide to John O'Shea. Rapidly becoming a star for this Manchester United team, who's lost its biggest star in the summer. It's Giggs! Lehman caught in no man's land, Giggs chips him! Not accurate enough by Ryan Giggs. Maybe in a couple of months' time he'll have that traditional Ryan Giggs sharpness. Ryan Giggs, such a popular figure here in Cardiff. Played here not only for Manchester United, but also for Wales. Van Bronckhorst. Jemba. Jemba. What a bad attempt by the Cameroon. Cameroon player doing really well to fire that one in. Just kept going and going and going here, Jemba, didn't he? of United, United, ring round the stadium. <laughs> Arsenal taking full advantage of being able to use five substitutions. Chamber, who has looked promising since he came on, real fighting qualities from the player just acquired by Manchester United in the summer. Vieira clattered into Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's nothing personal, you understand. Keane. O'Shea in a very good crossing position here for Manchester United. Meant to play the ball to Giggs, but only as far as Vieira. This is Van Bronckhorst. And then Phil Neville. And Franny Jeffers got in a bit of a mess, and Jeffers kicked out at Phil Neville. And it's all ignited here. And I think Franny Jeffers could be off. He had a very obvious kick there at his opponent. He's off. 
he becomes the 50th Arsenal player sent off since Arsene Wenger took over. Arsenal's chronic disciplinary problem has come back to haunt them and Franny Jeffers can have few complaints. It was a bit of a tangle, good tackle by Phil Neville, but watch what happens here. And then Jeffers has a kick at Phil Neville, and his fate was sealed at that moment. Absolute stupidity by Franny Jeffers. And the look on the faces of Pat Rice on the left and Arsene Wenger tell their own tale. Manchester United have the player advantage. Incidentally, of all Arsenal sendings off, that's the first time Franny Jeffers has been sent off as an Arsenal player. He's got some catching up to do on Patrick Vieira, who's been sent off eight times. And Martin Keown, six. Can Manchester United take advantage? That is the question now. Pires. Vieira, Pires. This fixture always has and has had a history of sendings off. Last time these sides met, Sol Campbell was sent off. Now Franny Jeffers has been dismissed. And Manchester United had better hold their nerve because they have Philip Neville on a yellow card and Paul Scholes on a yellow card as well. And they have Ryan Giggs in possession, hoisted into Solskjaer. And this is Edu for Arsenal, picked up by Scholes. There's a real menace now about Manchester United. In the last 14 minutes, can they grasp what could be a winning goal? Scholes. Keane almost came down to Solskjaer. It's Edu. Great defending there by Mikel Silvestre, who's had a major impact on this football match, not only defensively but also scoring Manchester United's opening goal. Oh, United, we love you, is the song now from the Manchester United fans. The Arsenal supporters slightly subdued after seeing their team reduced to ten men. Jemba. He barged Pires off the ball. And then he gives it to Vieira. There could be a counter-attack here for Arsenal. Pires. Viltord, but Manchester United are now back in numbers. Twelve is Lauren. And this is Vieira, and it's Van Bronckhorst. Rare goal scorer. Giovanni van Bronckhorst, whose career at Arsenal has been undermined by injury. Diego Forlan preparing to come on here for Manchester United. The bright sunlight doesn't do those substitution boards any favours. And it's Philip Neville coming off. Bold move by United. That signals their intent all right. 
bringing off a defender and putting on an out-and-out -out striker. Diego Fulham said in the press this week that Arsenal are frightened of Manchester United. He accused Arsene Wenger of picking fights with Sir Alex Ferguson. Philip Neville goes straight to the dressing room area. I suspect he might have picked up a knock. Jemba. Manchester United now have John O'Shea in possession and he's switched to right back with Mikel Silvestre at left back and Roy Keane has gone into the back four alongside Rio Ferdinand. Giggs. Easy for Lehman, the goalkeeper. Good bowl out by Lehman, but Bill Todd has no support at all. And he's given possession back to Manchester United. Manchester United almost playing with four up front now. Solskjaer on the right wing, Van Nistelrooy centre forward, Giggs left wing. And just tucked in behind them, Diego Fulham. Sylvester slammed the ball into Lauren, who certainly felt that. Jemba. Oh, and there was a kick there by Campbell. Sol Campbell kicked out at Jemba. Surely Sol Campbell's not going to be sent off again. Jemba being uh, drawn towards a referee. I thought Sol Campbell was going to be the man in trouble. I think we're going to have another red card here. Steve Bennett just telling him to calm down. Well, I thought Steve Bennett would have a word here with Sol Campbell, who did kick out at his opponent. the referee decided to take no further action. Oh, it was the boot there of Jemba, which is very high, but look at Campbell. Kick up the backside for Jemba. The pair could have gone for that. Nine minutes still to play. Full out. Roy Key now playing as a central defender. Picks out Fulham. Chamber and Scholes, the midfield duo now in the centre for Manchester United. Bearing in mind their numerical advantage, I think Manchester United will be disappointed if they can't find a knockout punch in the last seven or eight minutes. Van Nistelrooy with a foul on goal. Rude Van Nistelrooy who marked his arrival at Manchester United with a goal in this fixture. Against Liverpool. And 79 times more as celebrated scoring in a Manchester United shirt, including all those goals last season in the Champions League. Keane with the header. Full amp. Giggs. Collision between Cole and Solskjaer, no foul. Goals and it's full end. And now Ryan Giggs. Van Nistelrooy. Great football by Ruud Van Nistelrooy. But very good defending by Lauren.
Ruud van Nistelrooy is not just an outstanding striker, but his commitment to Manchester United's cause is terrific. Chases back, makes tackles, never gives up the fight. He is an example to every striker, whatever age, who plays the game. Two hard men of the two respective teams, Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira, collide. Ladies and gentlemen, if the scores are level at the end of normal time, the end not often you see Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira wishing to receive treatment. The public address announcer just underlined the fact that should we be level after 90 minutes? There will be immediately penalty kicks to decide the outcome of the FA Community Shield. Thierry Henry underneath the red towel. Thierry of Arabia. Or should it be Cardiff? Of... Both Vieira and Keane just leaving uh, the field, but they'll be back pretty soon. Edu. Skulls. Jemba. Last five minutes of the FA Community Ship. Ryan Giggs for Manchester United, Diego Fulham having to scrap for the ball. It's Pires. Trying to get right through the middle of the Manchester United defence. Ruud van Nistelrooy, oh that would have been an outstanding goal had absolutely nothing to aim at at all but it didn't deter Ruud van Nistelrooy hammering the ball towards Jens Lehmann's goal this is why Ruud van Nistelrooy is such a great striker nothing to aim at Lehman. Fulham. That's a really ambitious ball to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, especially in the last five minutes of the game played in searing temperatures. Conditions at pitch level are more like an oven than for a football match. Vieira 
Lauren. And that's overhit by some distance. Silvest away by Toure. Perez has picked up an injury here. Arsenal trying to decide whether to dispatch the ball and detach. Perez appears to be okay. This is Edu. Edu now for Arsenal. Can they snatch a dramatic late winner? Giovanni van Bronckhorst. And we're deep inside the last minute now. Full hand trying to get the ball off Cole. Torde, all the way back to Jens Lehmann. Who could well find himself in the spotlight in the next ten minutes. Trying to save penalties from the likes of Giggs and... Van Dieselroy. Gemba. We're playing two minutes of stoppage time. Can Manchester United find a winning goal here? Skulls. Sylvest. They're queuing up. Away by Campbell. Gemba. Oh, that's well wide. Manchester United now attacking the end where the majority of their fans are watching this game, but Chamber unable to bring any relief. Crowd of nearly 60,000 inside the Millennium Stadium. And the capacity is 10,000 more than that. Certainly the Arsenal end is sparsely populated, probably accounting for the 10,000 missing fans. Should add that many families, of course, are still on holidays. And the same could be said of families from Manchester or London. There's only about 30 seconds left of normal time before the referee signals we will have a penalty shootout. Tim Howard. This could be United's last attack and a chance to win the game in normal time. Ferdinand. Skulls and he's fouled by Vieira. And United will have to take this free kick pretty quickly. Maybe it was Van Bronckhorst who caught him. It's now or never for Manchester United. If they don't score here, they'll have to try and win it via a penalty shootout. Giggs drives it in. Good defending by Arsenal, and Perez is away. Maybe Arsenal have a chance here. Viltor is through. Rates tackled there by Tim Howard. And the referee signals the end of the game. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be penalties to decide the community shield. As Tim Howard and Jens Lehmann will find themselves under the spotlight in the next few minutes. The score after 90 minutes of this game is Arsenal 1, Manchester United 1. So it's Paul Scholes who will take the first spot kick. Community Shield of 2003 is to be settled on a penalty shootout. 
Manchester United to take the first penalty through the England international Paul Scholes. It's Scholes against Lehman and rocketed into the corner. Manchester United lead 1 0. Jobs are good. There has been a new directive from the Football Association this season telling referees to be very, very tough on goalkeepers who race towards the spot kick taker. Intimidating or what? Down at the Manchester United end, Edu will take the next penalty. Player who scored at Old Trafford to help Arsenal win the trophy, the championship trophy the season before last. Edu against Howard. That's a very good penalty. I suggest maybe that's one for his baby. I'm not sure how many penalties Rio Ferdinand has taken in his time, but he can probably count it on the fingers of one hand. Another England international, Rio Ferdinand, is the third penalty taker. And another great penalty. <laughs> Whose nerve will crack first? Giovanni van Bronckhorst is next up for the Arsenal. Van Bronckhorst against Howard. And Howard saves! Good save by the USA keeper. Cries of rude, rude as Rude van Nieselrooy comes forward. Howard did well. Is he going to be the hero of the hour? Van Nieselrooy to make it 3 1. Oh, fantastic save! Of all the players you'd expect to score from the spot, Ruud van Nistelrooy would be top of your list. Outstanding stop by Jens Lehmann. I thought Howard's save was good. That was even better. Silvao Wiltor has a chance to draw the sides level at 2-2. a good penalty they've both taken three penalties each but the score remains 2-2 Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Chance to make it 3-2 to Manchester United. Slid into the corner. The pressure's building nicely now, all right. Seemed to go under the goalkeeper's body. with the next penalty here chance to make it three apiece oh 
very good penalty, very coolly done indeed. That probably the cutest of penalties we've seen. We've had eight penalties, two have been saved. Still no separating these two heavyweights, Manchester United and Arsenal. Diego Forlan, the Uruguayan international. Short run up here for Forlan. Four three, and that means that Arsenal have to score this last penalty, otherwise the shield belongs to Manchester United. Perez has to score. Perez, a regular penalty taker, but the pressure is right on him here. Bearing down on Robert Perez. Can Howard save to give United the shield? United have won it's Howard's way and United have their first silverware of the season and after four defeats in this match United claim the shield and if Tim Howard is disappointed about the nature of him conceding the free kick. He is the hero of the hour now for Manchester United. And I hope if you're watching these pictures in the USA, you'll be very proud of Tim Howard. Fabian Bartes is going to have a lot of work to do if he's going to displace Tim Howard as first choice in the coming months. Larson Wenger reflects on what might have been, but although Alex Ferguson will tell you that this is just a pre-season game, when it comes to handing out the medals, and the prizes, it means an awful lot to the players and the supporters. Of course, the hard work starts next week when United begin their defence of the title with a match at Old Trafford against Bolton. And Manchester United, who picked Arsenal for the championship, have picked them once again. enjoyed that moment <laughs> a young man who's afflicted with Tourette's syndrome hasn't been easy for him to make his way in the modern game thought he'd never get his move to Manchester United in the summer and eventually as he tried to get a Hungarian passport the authorities released the significant papers and he was on his way. Had a fantastic pre-season back home in his own backyard in the USA. And now he comes to Cardiff as number one choice. And provides Manchester United with a couple of important saves in the shootout. Twenty-eight trophies now, Sir Alex Ferguson has managed in his 29 years as a football manager. Arsene Wenger will be slightly disappointed, but maybe the tide was always going the red way after the dismissal of Franny Jeffers.
not too many of these fans will have heard of Tim Howard until Manchester United plucked him from relative obscurity but he certainly did enough in the summer in the Confederations Cup playing for the USA to suggest he has a very bright future The Arsenal end of the ground is almost deserted as many Arsenal fans head for their cars on the train to take them back to London. Whereas the Manchester United end is absolutely chock-a-block as the league champions prepare to create a little bit more space in their trophy cabinet and another trophy of some note. Presentation party almost complete now. This the 81st contest for the Shield, originally known as the FA Charity Shield. And a military guard for the Shield. Alex Ferguson did play down the importance of this game all week. Uh, maybe just took some pressure off his players, but judging by his team selection, he wanted to win today. Uh, Arsenal, who won this trophy last year, will have to surrender it to Manchester United just as they surrendered the Premier League title. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field to present the Community Shield. Mr. Jeff Thompson, Chairman of the Football Association, special guest Viv Anderson, and Leanne Allen McDonald's Coach of the Year. Chairman of the Football Association, Jeff Thompson, there along with the chief guest, Viv Anderson. And the medal handing out about to commence. So Arsenal come forward first to receive their losers' medals. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first up to collect their medals, the officials of this afternoon's match, referee Steve Bennett, assistant referee Andy Woolmer and Glenn Turner, and the fourth official, Phil Dow. The match officials first up, Steve Bennett, who had that relatively simple task of showing a red card. I don't think he was in any doubt that Fanny Jeffers should be sent off. Here, Steve Bennett saying a little bit on the hot side for him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the first up to collect their medals after a close sport game. The runners up this afternoon, Arsenal. Not too many of Arsenal's fans have stayed behind to see their team pick up their losers' medals led by Patrick Vieira and his name will be back in the newspapers again in the coming week about his contract negotiations with the club Thierry Henry has scored an outstanding goal that probably the highlight as far as Arsenal are concerned Arsenal defeated their 
very much on course for more success this season. Arsene Wenger, one of the great thinkers of the modern game. He'll have Arsenal up and running again, ready to challenge for the Premier League and also the FA Cup and League Cup, not to mention the Champions League, of course. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome out to collect the Community Shield of 2003, the winners this afternoon, Manchester United! Familiar side, Manchester United stepping forward to pick up more silverware. This is the 23rd trophy Manchester United have claimed since Alex Ferguson came to the club. And judging by Sir Alex Ferguson's words, he isn't done yet by a long way. I think he'd like to win the Champions League once again before he announces his retirement. Tim Howard, who is very much the hero of the hour. Winners medal, the McDonald's man of the match this afternoon, Manchester United, number 27, Mikel Silvestre. And confirmation that Mikel Silvestre well, is the man of the match. And Manchester United claim the 2003 FA Community Shield and start the season as they mean to go on. They are the number one club in England. They were last season and have underlined that once again this season. Their chief executive delighted. Their many fans delighted. And what is the betting that Manchester United will follow this Community Shield win with plenty more successes in the next nine months. So confirmation of the winners, Manchester United. Final score 1-1, but Manchester United won this one 4-3 on penalties. Well, there you have it, Robbie Slater. We've seen that picture many, many times before and just well, might see it once have. or twice more. Yes, you're not wrong. And the first kiss of death of the year for Arsenal. <laughs> That's yeah, everyone on tip, that. Yeah, and you as well, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. And you yeah. were leaning back towards Man United, mate. You should have gone 